Hello everyone and welcome back. So here's something cool. A 5 volt to 12 volt DC motor driver based around a Raspberry Pi Pico board and a couple of electronics component. The Raspberry Pi Pico is the heart of this project. In order to drive the DC motor load, we have integrated the AO4406 N-channel MOSFET IC, a high power MOSFET used in SMPS for fast switching purposes. Its VDS is 30 volt and it can withstand a maximum 13 amps of current. In a future PC project, we will be utilizing this setup to control the DC fan through the motor driver board. For now, we are utilizing a 12 volt PC fan as a test load. As for working of this motor driver, it has few modes. The load operate at 255 duty cycles on the first tap. The load operate at 140 duty cycle with the second tap and it will be turned off on the third press. By the way, I have added all the files on this project's instructables, which you can check out for more details. Link is in video description. The schematic, which is divided into three sections, the AMS1117 part, the Raspberry Pi Pico portion and the MOSFET as a switch setup is the first stage in the PCB designing process. The AO4406 MOSFET, an N-channel high power MOSFET IC in an SOIC8 package is what we utilize for this project. Its source is connected to the ground and its drain is attached to a CON2 port and its other end is connected to a 12 volt from the input side. This CON2 will be used to connect the load, in our case a 12 volt DC fan. The MOSFET gate is connected in series with the GPIO0 with a 10K register. The second section includes the AMS1117 minimal setup with a 10 UF capacitor at the AMS1117 input side and 1 UF capacitor at the output side. Between the input and VCC and the AMS1117 input side, we have added an M7 diode to reduce excessive power coming from the input side. Additionally, we have added an LED which is connected on the input side along with a register connected in series. The Raspberry Pi Pico is located in the third section, which is paired with a toggle switch that is linked to the both GPIO1 and ground. When the switch is pressed, the GPIO1 is connected to the ground. After setting up the schematic, we export the netlist and convert the schematic into a board file. We modeled a 24 by 80 mm outline in the layout and we arrange all the SMD parts with the switch in the center on the top side and the Pico is positioned on the bottom side. After completing the PCB design, we export the Gerber data and send it to PCBWay for samples. An order was placed for yellow solder mask and white cell screen. After placing the order, I received the PCBs within a week and the PCB quality was pretty great. The cell screen that I used is completely random and asymmetrical, so it's pretty hard to make, but they did an awesome job of making this PCB with no error whatsoever. You guys can check them out if you need great PCB service at an affordable rate and low price. Using a solder paste dispensing needle, we first add solder paste to each component pad individually to begin the assembly process. Next, we pick and place all the SMD component in their places on the PCB using an ESD tweezer. With extreme caution, we lifted the complete circuit board and place it on the SMT hot plate, which increases the PCB temperature to the point at which the solder paste melt and all the components are connected to their pads. Next, we add Pico on the bottom side of the PCB using a soldering iron. In order to supply 12V to the circuit, we first connect the DC barrel jack on the input side of the board. Next, we use a soldering iron to install DC fan to the load side. The setup is now ready to be tested, but before that, let's have a look at the code. Here's the code that was used in this build, and it essentially cycles through three different modes of motor operation each time the switch is pressed. After uploading the code to the Pico, we use a DC barrel jack to plug the 12 volt adapter into the board. Here's the result of this simple build, a working motor driver running a 12V PC fan through a Raspberry Pi Pico connected with an AO4406 MOSFET IC. The first tap activates the setup. 
the second drives the motor to run at 140 duty cycle and the third tab deactivates the load. The main code is capable of including more modes, making modification incredibly simple. This driver can be used to power a wide range of DC load, such as solenoid, an array of LEDs, pumps and other devices that can run on 5V volt to 12V volt voltage. I will be using this setup in an upcoming PC project, so stay tuned for that. Leave a comment if you need any help regarding this project and this is it for today folks. Special thanks to PCBWay for supporting this project. You guys can check them out if you need great PCB service and stencil service for less cost and great quality. And I'll be back with a new project pretty soon. Peace out.